Okay, so this is the return flight from Napa Valley back to Van Nuys, IFR 9000 feet, Cirrus SR20 G6. Keep watching. Windy City Tweet, turn left on hotel, left on Charlie, taxi ramp, my frequency. <laughs> Cessna 10, runway 10, going up down, runway 1 on the right, clip takeoff. 1 on the right, clip takeoff, and we'll fire runway heading. Runway tango. Yep. Okay, there is runway heading right now, 190, confirm driver side runway, and the markings are correct. 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, takeoff power set, good engine. 50, cross check. 60. Annunciators climbing at 84, 85. Down. Thank you. Door the nose. Okay, there is 85 knots clear of obstacles, 200 feet above, flaps up. Right is up. Left is up and right is up. Now we're gonna get radar vectors. 600. Caps available. Sincere, sir, Romeo Tango, contact Oakland Center, good flight. Oakland Center, good evening, uh, Romeo Tango. Oakland Center, good evening, 8.0, Romeo Tango, off one minor right, 1,300, climbing 5,000. Summer 8, Summer 3, Romeo Tango, we send right a contact to my south of uh, Napa, Summer 8, Niner 1000. Niner 1000, and we're maintaining runway heading to Romeo Tango. November 0, Romeo Tango, flighting 130. 130, Romeo Tango. Okay, standard rate 2, heading 130. Got beautiful Napa Valley. Reserve Romeo Tango, have an amendment to your route, five zero copy. Ready to copy, Romeo Tango. Welcome Reserve Romeo Tango, stay on a 130 heading, but uh, leaving 3000, we are cleared to cross or correct a cut to Charlie Charlie Romeo, and direct Avenal, Reserve Romeo Okay, so we're maintaining 130 up to 3000, then I'm gonna turn direct to Charlie Charlie Romeo VOR, then direct to Avenal, and then the rest of the route is unchanged. Romeo Tango? Romeo Tango, we're back right. Thank you, Romeo Tango. Climb power set, flaps go. Six five five here, Catholic, go direct load. Make sure, sure. as required. So, let's take five mic, Catholic, Lazo, and across Lazo at about 7,000. Clear. On everyone, we want four throats. So, when we hit 3,000, Lazo, we are going to go direct to CCR, Romeo Tango. Yes, we're going to hit 3,000, and we're going to go direct to CCR. Instead of this guy, I'm gonna do uh, menu, and then I'm gonna do no clear. I'm gonna do CSC. R enter. Three point nine five. Then here I'm gonna go now. Direct to enter enter. Then I can find nav. And now we are turning left to CCR. Coach, good evening, November 810, Romeo Tango, 3500, climbing 9000. November 810, Romeo Tango, trust for show, it's all 200, 200, 200, 202, thank you, Romeo Tango. We're gonna hand fly a little bit, so our path is connected. And we're going to CCR. Destination one more time. Uh, 
Now, once we hit Concord, then we're going direct to Avenal. They'll be heading 132. So now I can book this, and then we're gonna turn heading 132 to Avenal. Something that doesn't make sense. Ah, that's because we didn't update it here. So now we can go and replace it. Zero Romeo Tango, depart uh, Concord Airport, direct to Avenal, maintain 9000. Depart uh, Concord, direct to Avenal, maintain 9000, Romeo Tango. Six, six, okay, now in seven seconds we're gonna turn right heading one three two. Okay, now we are turning direct to Avenal. Remember zero Romeo Tango contact mark out post one two zero point nine organized. One two zero point nine at pleasant evening, Romeo Tango. Approach, good evening, November 810, Romeo Tango, 6200, climbing 9000. November 810, Romeo Tango, North Coast Coast, good afternoon, see direct Avenal, if you're not already, the L point now, 70302. 3002, and affirmative, we are direct to Avenal, 810, Romeo Tango. And I think that's the St. Louis Reservoir, isn't it? Okay, so we took the airplane with hand all the way to the cruising altitude, now we can... Altitude is bugged at 9000 and nav is active. Now we can put the autopilot on. And the autopilot is on. It's going to track. Concord into Avenal. Now we can run our cruise checklist. Fuel pump off. And do we need to switch the tanks? Yeah, let's switch the tanks. And then we'll put the fuel pump off. Okay, fuel pump is off. Cruise power set, yes. Now we can lean the mixture. And we did lean the mixture, so that's okay. Engine parameters, we're gonna take a look. Fuel follow and imbalance, we are good. Next will be the descent checklist. We can exit this. Go to my engine page. Nine thousand is good for now. Let's look at our profile view. Yeah, we're clearing all the mountains. We have flat areas next to us, so we are in good shape. Two knot tailwind, not bad. Better than having a headwind. The closest one now is seven miles. Airport. I always want to know what. I think we have plenty of airports we can glide to. K Kilo Tango Charlie Vector. There is Kilo Lima Vector Kilo. Kilo Lima Vector Kilo. Good evening, North Dow. This is number 9451 Juliet with you at 7,500. Good afternoon, North Dow. 451 Juliet, North Dow. First, good afternoon. The stock that I'm giving is 2995. 2995 for Piper Cherokee, 9451 Juliet. Piper Cherokee, that. Uh, I'll take that number 551 Juliet. Yeah, I, I could be called a set, but that would be good. Yeah, you never know about that. Is there anything we'll have to make sure we'll set place with the airbus? Oh, thank you, yes. This has the Perspective Plus. It's an SR-20 G6. As I talked about in the previous flight, it has a four-cylinder engine. It actually weighs less. I think Cirrus was able to save about 150 pounds total of weight from G6 as it compared to the previous airplane, the previous model. So they kept us at 9000 and now we turn back the camera so hello to our viewers on YouTube. Right now we are assigned direct to Lake Hughes VR and after that they gave us the Lynx minor arrival with the Lake Hughes transition and they kept us at 9,000 feet altitude. And it's probably gonna take some time until I publish this video on YouTube. It takes quite a bit of time to edit, to bring in all the different cameras and align them in Adobe Premiere Pro, which is a very powerful software. If you guys enjoy the work that I do, I highly suggest that you subscribe to the channel. 
Do you think that's a good idea? Yes. Thank you. Good evening, November 810, Romeo Tango, Isla Zulu Approach, 16 right. Zulu Tango, Good evening, wind 240 at 4 and 16 right, Romeo Tango. 16 right, Romeo Tango. Okay, coming up on foot, Romeo Tango, Isla Zulu Approach, 16 Boost pump is on, make sure that your seat belts are fastened, flat, flat and auto pilot as required. And before landing, check this. And uh, I want to call the base. Yeah, that would you call base. DB7-12404, flight thanks to Bravo, Bravo 1. Crew track 173, base your discretion, wind 230 at 5, 16 left, clear your pretty up. It's my discretion, 16 left, clear for the option, crew track 173. Looking for a stable approach at 80 knots. It's 82 knots. Pretty stable on the approach. Now we can control our descent rate with the throttle. So once we are over the runway, we're going to give it some left rudder. This is 15 Golf, follow cell center and left crosswind. Play with the driver, 15 Golf. Wind 240 at 6. Minimums, minimums. Runway in sight, continue. Career track 173, wind 240, left, clear for the option. 6 left, clear for the option, career track 173. Small 5 Golf, there's a Cessna, how do you inside? Grab it inside, Wild 5 Golf. Small 5 Golf, that's Cessna sort of parallel, wind 240 at 6. Way one six right, good one. Altitude. One six right, clear, good one. Hi, golf. This one side golf, the altitude. Two thousand one side golf. One side golf, that altitude on the east side is one thousand eight hundred. Altitude to keep still one hundred. Then I'm sorry, three zero zero six. Three zero zero six. Three zero zero six. I'll just send out to one thousand eight hundred. Uh, one side golf. Three zero zero ten. Go safe parking. Uh, Mach 1, and we have the high speed from your tango. Turn right, turn right, high speed Mike, Mach 1, the super CV, have a good night.